Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at 1911 handguns and I'm going to give five reasons why even today in 2020, the 1911 reigns supreme. I have a strong feeling about 1911 handguns. I love them. And the best way that I can describe this is that when I pick up, say, a Glock, I go to the gun store, I pick it up, I take it home, I check it out a little bit, I put it away in the safe until I'm ready to go to the range. But when I pick up a 1911, and I stop at a red light, I take it out of the case, I look at it, I check it out, I pull the trigger, I just can't get enough of it. There's something about this handgun that just draws me closer to it every time. I, I open my safe, I check out my 1911s before anything else because it is an amazing handgun. And I wanna give you five reasons why it reigns supreme even in 2020 and I think you will agree. 1911, 10 millimeter. Wow, this is sweet. Here are two Desert Eagle 1911s made by Magnum Research. This one here is called the Undercover. It has a three inch barrel, a six round magazine, and this one has an eight round magazine with a five inch barrel. This is a government model, both in 45 ACP. But the first reason why the 1911 reigns supreme even today is because of that single action trigger pull. It is incredible. It's very short, it's very light. Now this one here measures at three and a half pounds, but on average between four and six pounds is the 1911 trigger pull, but it feels lighter. And no other handgun can measure to that trigger pull. Same with this one here. You know, they, they come in many different sizes and they are extremely consistent in regard to the very short trigger pull and the very short reset you can't beat a 1911 trigger i don't care they are so nice they're so short and they really do keep the shooter on target The second reason is that a 1911 frame is all metal. This one here is all steel. It has some weight behind it. It feels solid when shooting. It reduces felt recoil. In this day, with so many Palmer frame handguns out there, the 1911 shooter says, give me that steel frame. There's something about that that just screams 1911, and that is what they want. People will carry it. They'll bear the extra weight. It doesn't matter. They want that steel frame. It just feels strong sturdy and it is strong and sturdy most are steel this one here has an aluminum frame which is because it's a carry gun they are metal frames one way or another and that is one signature aspect of a 1911. ruger sr 1911 officer model nine millimeter 10 yards away The third reason is because the accuracy of a 1911 handgun is unmatched. A lot has to do with the trigger, a lot has to do with the heavy frame, a lot has to do with the barrel and the mechanics. Many 1911 shooters will tell you they will hit the Peter off a net from 30 yards. That's why many people compete with 1911s. Very nice and accurate handgun. People love the way they shoot. Very thin up top very heavy and thick to reduce the felt recoil but once you grab a 1911 and you actually make contact with exactly what you are shooting at you know you, you hit that target how you wanted to that you can't quite do with some of the other handguns out there some of the wonder nines or the polyframe guns you grab a 1911 it restores confidence and that is why so many people love them and why so many people carry 1911s is because it is a gun that they can accurately feel confident with The mechanics of a 1911 are like none other. I love taking them apart, checking them out, disassembling them. The 
process is very different than many of the other poly frame guns out there, but it's exciting to me. And when you look inside and you see the iconic history of how this handgun came to be, it really is amazing. And I, I just love taking them apart. I have a little demo on that, so let's check that out. The variety of 1911s that are out there in today's market is unbelievable. Everything from budget 1911s to high-end and customized 1911s are amazing. Now, if we take a look at this one right here, it has a case-hardened frame. That is unreal. The amount of G10 grips that are available in today's market, opposed to wood that is the more traditional look, but all different types of calibers, all different types of sizes, while using the same mechanics, the acerocoding, the laser engraving, everything that all these companies are doing to make their 1911 stand out, makes the market so exciting. They also have double stack 1911s. They call them 2011s. Those are cool. They have the subcompact models. Of course, the commander size with the four and a quarter inch barrel. There are so many types from so many different companies that the choices available in today's market is none like, like none other. And today is the golden age, not just for firearms, but for 1911s and my goodness, the choices and the availability of so many different types is incredible. So there it is. Five reasons why the 1911 reigns supreme even today. I could have given you more. I want to scale down to five reasons, but share your thoughts. I'm interested to hear what you 1911 fans have to say. Or for those of you who don't have much experience, you know, maybe this is the time to check one out. Borrow one from a buddy. Check it out. You may just become hooked the way I am. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.